Okay, welcome to this episode. Anyway, this episode is very special. You won't see my face. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not going to show my face today. La. This is not a fashion show. Okay, I'm going to talk about the Shimano rails and the centrifugal brakes as well as what's the difference between the different brakes of the uh, bed caster. Okay, so over here we have the Adabara MGL and we have the Antares uh, 2019. Okay. So I basically use the Adabara MGL for light loose, like maybe uh, 7 grams to about 15 grams. Then I use the Antares for something a bit heavier. Um, the interesting thing is the Adabara is an old model. I think this is an old 15 or 16 model and this is like a 2019 model. The thing is that Shimano is improving a lot. However, I feel that the rails are getting heavier. Because the Adabara is really light and there's other models that's very light like the Metanium 2020 So if you hit the subscribe button, the like button, you'll realize that I will actually talk more about the Metanium 2020 It's coming to me soon But the good thing is the new technology actually implements uh, drag sound Okay, but the Adabara doesn't have the drag sound So um, over here I'm going to share with you the different kind of centrifugal bricks that this rail has Okay, so let's talk, let's look at uh, the Adabara MG office. So you can see that this is uh, actually the centrifugal brakes. So I don't use my brakes, so you can see that I actually close it. Okay, so this is the interesting part. Uh. You to, to, if you want to activate the brakes, you have to push it out. Okay, so you have to push it out. Let me show you. Okay, you got to push it out. Okay, so when it's out, right, it's activating the brakes. Okay, and to activate the brakes, right, the old Shimano has many centrifugal brakes which is the very very old ones la. maybe the, the 2012, 2013 ones they have like 8 or sometimes 6 but the new ones you realize they all come with about 4 only so what happens is after you activate the brakes right um, the advice is if you want 2 brakes right you gotta activate here and here you gotta be balanced instead of just activating these 2 and then these 2 you orbit it will be balanced uh, opposite each other if you activate 3 then will be na, you know you got no choice lah. but you activate 2 then it's like that if you activate 1 then you got so no choice but 2 is better to be like this okay then what happened is that this centrifugal brakes once you push it out right it will actually come in contact with these brakes over here and then what the Shimano has been doing uh, is they are they take a bit of the the Japan uh, the not Japan the Daiwa magnet uh, concept okay so basically the centrifugal brakes that you see right will actually come into contact with the brake uh, ring over in the inside and then you will have this one to six brakes what happens is this one to six brakes right is for you to adjust so that this thing will actually move okay let me adjust first uh. so you six is the most brakes one is the least brakes but of course when you use zero brakes right, the centrifugal don't even open up so I use zero brake, the centrifugal don't even open up. So this thing doesn't make a difference anymore. But if you have one brake or like two, three brakes on it, it makes a difference. Okay, wait uh, Okay. So when I when I what happened is when I turn this this thing right over here, right? This thing actually move in and out. Okay? By it moving in and out, right? It actually creates when it moves out, you will realize that it actually comes into contact with the centrifugal brakes more so when you go 6 right this thing will actually pop out more if you go 1 it will pop out lesser so that's how it works for the Shimano centrifugal brakes so let's look at how the Antares 2019 technology works okay so you see over here that we only have like 1 to 6 okay this is like really the, the this is the considered old technology this is a new technology and they actually implement this if you see Abu or you see like um, Daiwa, they come out with a lot of these Japan, Japan, uh, this, we keep talking about Japan, not Japan, this magnet bricks, uh, they, they always have this thing, so it actually works the same way, the magnet will actually goes in and out, so you actually uh, have less magnet strength or more magnet strength, so if you go to like higher magnet break, then the thing will actually be pushed out, so that it has more contact, if you put to like zero, it will still go out, but the thing is, the magnet brakes, even if you put to zero, uh, even if you put to zero, you go out, you know that at a certain distance, magnet is a kind of force. So that, to me, uh, magnet even at zero, I still feel that there's some force one. So I ever tried to remove the magnet brakes in the Daiwa, right? Once you remove it, uh, the rear really go crazy, okay? So it makes a big difference. So even in zero, right, the Shimano zero is really zero, but the magnet zero, right? If you don't remove the magnet, I feel that there's still some... 
uh, magnet force that's holding onto the spool. Okay, so uh, my rears are very very good condition uh, I I'm a Niao Sai uh. Okay, so this is the Okay, so this is the AR. So you see the AR use the same uh magnetium uh the, the Adabaran technology and you can see that I open one because I can tell you the Antares is really really very smooth. I don't know why it's it's a lot smoother, but of course because it's a more expensive real, more premium real, it's very very smooth, it's not so easy to control, so I have it one. Then uh, let's try to show you. Okay, then this is the you cannot remove the side plate now. So the side plate is actually attached. So you can see right this thing is actually the same as what you see in the Adabaran. Okay. But over here, right, is the, the settings are more uh fine. Okay, why do I say it's more fine? Okay. Because right in the Antares, uh, you get to have micro settings, meaning you get to turn like like minimum to max. So you have like many many points to it instead of over here you have like only six one to six right here you have like really multiple micro settings so this is one of the thing that uh, maybe it helps for some people you know but it's very very sensitive because this thing will actually push the centrifugal brakes in and out so that more contact or less contact so um, now the technology right is more towards this kind of technology for centrifugal uh, you don't get the 6 and 8 centrifugal brakes anymore um, One thing is the Adabaran uh, BFS is a bit special Okay, let me show you what is the Adabaran BFS Okay, hold on uh. Okay, this is my Adabaran BFS The Adabaran BFS is a bit special because the Adabaran BFS right, is a very amazing uh, reel for ultralight casting Okay, again it has the 1 to 6 Okay, same as the Adabaran MGL but this thing is super duper interesting this is one of the rails right the very little rails that shimano do that use magnet bricks okay why do they use magnet bricks you can see this is magnet over here okay and the magnet is actually uh in contact with the spool so i don't know if you can see right the the dots the holes of the spool actually starts a bit on the inside then here there's mostly metal why because this magnet will actually activates the hole to the spool instead of holding something onto the spool in daiwa right they will put the the a metal piece on this on this uh on this shaft so the sh the magnet will actually control the shaft but the shimano they use this ftb they call it the fine tune brakes or something like that it will actually the magnet will actually go in contact with the spool and control the spool speed so this is a very, very interesting technology that shimano has used for their uh, BFS okay reels and I can tell you that they are very amazing reels for pitching and casting light reel uh, light lures uh, but if you want really heavy lures I can tell you that if you can control it and feather it with your thumb over here right okay, the mistake is a lot of people they like to feather their reels from here so you try to feather your reels here because that's the correct place to feather if you can feather your reels well right you will realize that the centrifugal brakes may cast further than the magnet bricks from Daiwa but like if you cannot feather your rear well or you are that kind of people that, that you engage then you cast you let go then when the rear a bit touch the water then you hold you are not the guy that actually feather and thumb and control the spool right you like your magnet well because magnet is more resistance but the centrifugal is different okay so you like your magnet well because you, you don't feather and control your spool so much so those people that cast and then let go and then thumb again, those people will like the Abu and the and the Daiwa smaller. Okay, so uh, for this episode, that's it. Uh, next episode, stay tuned. I'll be sharing with you my uh, preference and my recommendation on the Metanium 2020. Okay, it's coming to shop soon. Um, so hit the subscribe button and like my video. Smash the like button if you love my beautiful reels. And I see you in my next episode of Red Tackle TV. Enjoy the circuit breaker, stay safe, and I see you next time at shop. Bye-bye.